China is turbocharging its economy, marking a major step towards reforming the world's second biggest stock market. Beijing's expanding its registration-based initial public offering system, hoping it will speed up listings and corporate fundraising and boost post-pandemic recovery. Well, let's talk now to Rory Green, who's chief China economist at TS Lombard. Uh, good to have you with us, uh, Rory. Uh, so, uh, first of all, how will this new system work? Yeah, so, so the new system is a massive improvement on the old application-based IPO approach, where basically the CSRC, that's China's security regulator, had to approve every single IPO and was in practice often involved in setting the price. The new approach is more market-orientated, easier for companies, and generally much faster to get IPOs approved. So a big change. How significant is it? It, it's really significant. This is um, another big step in the, the evolution of China's financial markets. We're going to see a deepening and broadening of, of financial markets in China as a result of this. And, and longer term, this is going to be a crucial part of, of the development of the real economy as, as well. So the idea is uh, to turbocharge China's economy. How will it do it? What will it do? Yes. Yeah, so, so in the short term, uh, it won't really have, have a huge impact. Uh, but longer term, it, it's really going to help China move from um, an economy and a financial system that is heavily bank dependent uh, and one that is a bit of a hybrid system using banks and direct financial markets. And that hybrid system tends to be much more efficient. You've got more diverse funding channels for a wider array of businesses. Uh, and a crucial part of, of this reform process, there will still be a role for the regulator, and they will, in practice, try and guide and screen some of these IPOs to make sure they fit with national development policy as well. So you've got a bit of a market approach, a bit of state intervention, and this will, will be very helpful for China's longer-term uh, growth um, and national policy uh, development. And last year, we saw Beijing allowing uh, the U.S. access to inspect firms in mm. China for the first time. Is this uh, part of the same move towards improving transparency? Yes. Yeah, it, it's part of this, this broader, um, more market-orientated, more, more transparent uh, approach. Um, the, the inspections by the PCAOB, uh, one of the, the, order, the big sort of regulatory uh, bodies in the U.S., that's cleared um, a pretty big hurdle for international investors. The, the current reform of the IPO system will um, clear another hurdle for, for domestic ones. So, yeah, greater transparency all round. Is there a risk, though, that, that opening up to all companies uh, could potentially lead to uh, poorer quality control with companies listing that perhaps shouldn't be allowed to? Uh, in general, we, there, there should be a very limited risk of that occurring. The, the registration guidelines are pretty strict. Investors will have the opportunity to really closely scrutinize uh, each IPO. Um, and as I said earlier, the, the CSRC, the regulator, will still have, have some involvement. So there's, there's a very low risk that um, a, a, a dodgy company with, with weak financials would be allowed to, to, to IPO under the new system. Okay, Rory Green from TS Lombard. Good to talk to you. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks.